Hi friends, my name is Azhar and you're watching my YouTube channel Azhar Sassi. I have been to Delhi thrice but I have never been to this place. That place is Jama Masjid. When I landed in Delhi for the fourth time, it was early in the morning. My flight was in the afternoon. I had nowhere to go. So I thought, let's go to Jama Masjid. When I actually went there, I was fascinated and amazed by the incredible architecture. This is the morning view and ambience of Jama Masjid. I went inside, did a small prayer. This is how Jama Masjid looks from inside. Wow, Jhumar! Abey, kahan dekh raha hai? Namaz bad. Idhar udhar mat dekh. If you watch closely, there are no ceiling fans. Such is the design and ventilation system of this marvelous mosque. मस्जिद के अंदर आ गो फोटोग्राफी वीडियोग्राफी अबे तू क्या कर रहा है हाँ मैं यो ही कर रहा हूँ ना इस दिन मार पड़ी या मैं वाह शाहजवान वाह क्या चीज़ बनाया तूने कहीं भी जाओ मार बिली मार बिली how did you get so much marble those days man wow Pigeons everywhere. I wonder why pigeons are always seen in mosques or some old building. Mostly I have seen them in mosques. Not sure why. Uh, maybe they get good food over there or uh, they find uh, peace. Not the eating peace but uh, this peace. If you know why pigeons uh, are mostly seen in mosques, please let me know in the comments. This is the view from uh, one of the gates. Uh, basically, Jama Masjid has uh, three gates, but the important thing is only the mosque is beautiful. The surroundings, <coughs> no comments. Another interesting thing about this place is that you can go way up uh, to the minaret or minar, or you can simply call it as uh, tower. It generally opens after 10:30 uh, a.m. Uh, I was not around that time, so I couldn't uh, go. Wow man, it's written in Spanish as well. <laughs> the only thing I know in Spanish is Despacito. It's a must to do thing if you are at this place. If you go up there, you can see the spectacular view of the entire Delhi city. Please let me know in the comment section how the view was, if you have already been to that place or after seeing this video, if you are going to see the view, please come back and let me know in the comment section. I don't know why government has not uh, developed the uh, locality around this uh, beautiful place. I think they should uh, develop it and uh, make it better than what you see right now. If anybody knows why this uh, locality is not developed yet, please let me know in the comments. Once you are in, you are uh, supposed to remove your footwear and you should uh, carry that in your hand. You are not supposed to wear uh, shoes or uh, slippers inside the mosque. This place is open for all uh, except uh, 5 times in a day when the prayer happens which is about 15 to 20 minutes. Another key thing to be remembered while getting into this mosque is your dress. If you are not appropriately covered they will give you a dress which you can wear and get inside and you can return it while going out there are also taps available in uh, the masjid to clean yourself or do wudu as i said before 
before you go to pray you have to clean yourself you can do it here as well if you are not uh, comfortable with the uh, water that you saw earlier uh -huh. it's so funny to see foreigners wearing lungi or dhoti like it's so funny uh, by the way this is the place where i brushed my teeth in the morning it's a secret don't tell anybody that's the dress uh, that i was talking about uh, just given to the foreigners whose outfits are not appropriately covered and uh, this is uh, yet another gate for, and and from this gate uh, we can see the view of red fort i keep ranting this i don't know why the surroundings of such an amazing place is so underdeveloped can anybody answer me this if uh, anybody knows why this uh, area poor develop please let me know guys this is the main gate where i came in from these gates have uh, restrooms at the sides if you want to know or want to use you can use them and the street around this place uh, the street uh, which i said is uh, really popular for street food it's really it's really famous and popular for awesome food and uh, chats especially non veg food and chat that's the view from another gate um, another poorly developed place one last point which i realized after visiting this place is that a lot of people say ill things about shah jahan they, they say that he is cruel he is merciless he cut the hands of the builder who built taj mahal he spent a lot of money in lavish things uh, he did a lot of uh, bad things all that is there but i have got respect for this man in this uh, jama masjid many thousands of people come every day and offer prayers so they will continue to pray until this mosque remains so whatever it is whatever he is whoever it is but he will get the rewards and virtues of uh the prayers that these people do it will definitely go to him it's up to him and god so it's not our right to talk ill about someone we should not judge someone like we don't know what they have done this is a live example and realization of uh, what i have seen this good thing good virtue will go on to shah jahan for generations and generations it's not a good thing to talk ill about someone or judging someone because of uh, some specific acts they have then a lot of other things as well which are really good and which we are not aware of this is purely my perspective i just want to share this with you guys so what do you think about it what's your opinion on this uh, that's it guys please let me know on the comment section if i missed something and educate me with some of the facts that you know of this amazing place thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please give a thumbs up please share this video with others and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon